Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of PowerPoint for Scientists. So this episode is a little bit different. In this episode, instead of sharing with you a tool in PowerPoint, I want to share with you a concept that I recently learned. And I think that this is crucial in learning just about anything. Or in this course in particular, is to learn and develop your scientific presentation skill. The concept is called a growth mindset. This idea of fixed and growth mindset is originally described in the best-selling book Mindset of Carol Dweck and also in the amazing book Grit of Angela Duckworth. The idea discussed in these two books are scientifically proven through multiple researchers of these two researchers and it is so important that I think everyone must read them. If you guys don't have time, you just watch a short two to three minutes video on YouTube or in TED Talks that summarize these books. So now come back to the basic definition of growth mindset, which is a belief that human can grow their ability. So people with a growth mindset think that intelligence can be developed. Uh, so they welcome challenges, they persist to obstacles, and also they give constant effort learning from criticism and also find success of others as inspiration for themselves to grow and learn. As a result, they continuously to develop and reach higher and higher level of achievement in their life. So in short, they are always learning to be smart. In the other hand, the fixed mindset people want to look smart because they think intelligence cannot be developed. So they always avoid challenges, give up easily and don't give effort, or they ignore criticism and feel threatened by the success of others. So the growth mindset and grit are more important than talent. So traditionally, people place raw talent or IQ first when they measure the intelligence of someone. And of course, this is true that people who are born with natural talented or with a higher IQ, they get advantages of a head start and they can learn very fast with little effort put in. However, without continuous learning and growing, the gap between the so-called talented people and a so-called normal people with greed and growth mindset would eventually be closed and the normal kid might uh, even uh, reach higher achievement than the high IQ kid at the end. Second, everything can be learned. You might start out at zero uh, where you know nothing about this subject or have no idea how to do a certain thing. Aren't we uh, always like that anyway? We were all born imperfect. We know nothing, relying on nourishment and guidance of our parents. And uh, we uh, start learning to walk by falling and taught by babbling nonsense and growing without the scare of being wrong, judged or failed. My point is, uh, every skill could be learned and we will get better at it over time. But we have to start today. The best time to start is always now. And don't do uh, so much at one point. Uh, just start doing little by little, spend few minutes a day to learn a certain skill that you are interested in. Make small steps but do it consistently every day and it will start to build up the momentum and the ball will start rolling. Uh, I know this is hard and this habit building thing, it is uh, also very hard for me also and I constantly reminding myself of it to put in work every day to build and keep my habit alive and hope that we can all do it together. You can apply this growth mindset in learning uh, just about anything. But first, you might ask, why I need to learn PowerPoint? Why I need to change the way I make my slide, or structure my talk, or drawing my graph, or presenting my data? Uh, someone might argue that I've always done like this all the time, and no one have ever had a problem with that, and why I need to spend my valuable time on learning this. So uh, my answer is, if you are in academia, the chances you are gonna end up doing a lot of seminar, teaching in classes, presenting in conferences, and preparing figures or publications. I truly believe that a PowerPoint for Scientists will help you now and in the long run. Because by delivering your scientific discovery, 
In a structured, clear and concise and engaging way, you can capture the attention of the audience. And once you have them hooked or interested, you can effectively uh, send the message across to the audience and make a bigger impact that you might not know now. Uh, your outcome could be simply that you successfully sharing your idea or findings to your colleague, but it could also be a potential collaboration opportunity or maybe even a job offer, an inspiration to young scientists, etc. Did you uh, notice those TEDx gone viral and make the presenter's uh, life completely change in a positive way? The power of a great scientific presentation is limitless. And you can uncover those power by start learning how to make a better presentation slides. But if that is a too far fantasy hard to grasp, let's come back down to earth now. Because most of us are only students in uni university or grad school, and the only, th the only thing we want is to graduate as fast as we can. To do that, you need a publication in a peer review paper or present in uh, international conferences. And I, from my own experience, truly believe that develop your scientific presentation and illustration skill can help you to graduate a lot faster. I think now in our academic field, the graphic uh, design quality is relatively old style, I would say. Uh, one reason is that us, the scientists, the young scientists, often uh, follow the format of the past publication, which could be dated back 10, 20 years ago. And by improving the quality of a figure, make it fresher, uh, newer, uh, more color and better design, or make a better flow diagram, a chart, uh, your work will stand out significantly among other crowd. And people will instantly uh, recognize the difference uh, once you're showing a well-designed scientific figure in the paper or a clear, engaging presentation at a conference. Another reason to get better at PowerPoint skill is that, uh, at least for me, it helped me to don't have to use English too much. Because as a non-native English speaker, also true, uh, true to many scientific students or international students now, we have a disadvantage comparing to the native English speaker about expressing our idea verbally. Native English speaker could just show up and just deliver uh, an awesome talk without any slides or without any uh, preparation. Uh, in contrast, international students, us, uh, we often struggle with words, grammar, or tone of speak. Uh, if you are a non-native English speaker, a great presentation slide is your best friend, I think. It makes you less nervous because you are organized. It helps you uh, to deliver your point more effectively when people can see your data up there and quickly understand what you want to say. And it makes you look more professional because you come prepared, meaning you value the talk and invest a lot of time and effort into it. So my purpose when I'm working on this project and this course is to help students to create and deliver a great scientific presentation to make a bigger impact in the world with real-life applications. There's no shortcut. If you want to be good at it, you need to spend time learning and practicing. If you think that I'm not good at drawing or uh, I'm not good at presenting in front of the crowd or I'm not good at da da da, well, I would argue that you are not good at those things yet and you can learn and eat very quickly and it doesn't hurt as you think. And if you say that she's just so talented, she's just born with that skill and I can do it as she can do it because she's so talented, you are only talk like that to yourself because you want to give yourself free pass, a pass to not to have to try, not have to learn, a reason to give up before you even try it. So please, please tap into this growth mindset of grit and perseverance to learn new skills. And because we are constantly growing and developing, these are the thoughts that I come back many times to remind myself, to force me and encourage myself to learn and to grow. And I hope you guys can feel that also and understand that everything can be learned and intelligent can be learned. And the beautiful thing is there are so many videos on YouTube right now teaching us just about anything we want to know and are totally free of charge. And it's totally not that I am any expert at PowerPoint or presentation skill at all. Uh, and I tell you to do and not to do. I'm still very bad at it. I'm still constantly learning and developing myself to be good at it. I am same as you. 
a lifetime student and continuously trying to learn and to grow. But that is exactly what set me aside from other people trying to teach uh, general uh, PowerPoint because I went through this academic life myself, learning and teaching myself when uh, there's no one to teach me and why wishing there's more and more material like this on the internet back then when I needed to learn from. I also believe that by sharing what I've learned, I can remember it more. So I have a chance to practice it and discover my weaknesses and also find the strategies to overcome that. So it is more like the training course that I need the most, that I created to myself, uh, than a course that I be a teacher and tell you everything. It is a two-way learning courses. See, I truly hope that by watching me or uh, talking and practicing PowerPoint, you can learn it with me too. And I can share with you some of the knowledge, some of the thing I figure out and I want to share with you uh, so you can learn it uh, faster. Uh, personally, I think that, that this is the best way to learning. You're learning with a friend that stay uh, in the same boat with you and go through the process together and grow. And with this course, if I can help just one person to publish in a higher impact factor journal or give a final defense that impressed the committee members, I would be over the moon already, to be sincere. To sum up, uh, there are three key ideas in this video that I want to share. First, is learning PowerPoint for scientists can help you in your academic journey to publish a publication or to present at a conference. And second, Everything can be learned if you put a little effort in. The third thing is a growth mindset and grit are more important than talent. Use it to learn and to grow. Thank you all very much for your support as always and I wish that I can help you in any way. And I will see you in the next episode.